Hi everybody, I'm Bex. I'm one of the Sun Voices choir leaders. Um, I'm also a singer and a vocal coach and a workshop leader and I work all over the country just working with people of different ages and abilities and just getting people singing. I've got the best job in the world. If you haven't done um, much for a while it's going to be good a good way of tapping back into your voice. Do it now. The voice is a muscle. Don't forget your vocal cords, two sheets of muscle. So the more we use it the stronger um, it gets and the more those muscles are able to stretch and accommodate more notes as we're using it more and more. A lot of people get scared about singing soprano and especially that difference between soprano two and soprano ones. Don't let it bother you. We've all got the ability, we've all got these notes. It's just some voices sit in a more comfortable place than others. All right, give it a go. So we're just gonna loosen out the more relaxed you are in your body, the easier it is for the sound to come out. That's the most important thing. Okay, so roll your shoulders back a little bit. And forward. Good. Lift them up to your ears. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Drop, do it again. Breathe in as you're doing that. Hold that breath a little bit. And as you drop your shoulders, breathe out. Nice, loosen them out again. Roll them back. Good, pop your head to one side. Just like you're a bit, com don't push it. Just a bit confused, huh? Roll it forward. Look down. Over the other side. Back in the middle. And up when you're ready. Good. Take your hands, massage your cheeks. Nice. I've usually got some music on while we do this, but it's just me. And you're going to stretch your face nice and wide. And teeny tiny. Best bit about this, you by yourself, no one can see. Totally fine. People outside my window can see, but it's fine. Um, stretch out nice and wide again. And teeny tiny. Good. And you don't want to feel like you're pushing anything there. It's definitely not that feeling, it's more of a, a yawn. Let's try it one more time with that yawn so you feel like it's nice and open and relaxed around here. That's the most, that is the persistent feeling that we want when we're singing. You never, ever, ever want to feel like you're pushing anything from here or there's any tension here because this is what, that's what's going to give you a sore throat, help you lose your voice, create all sorts of problems. So. None of the hard work happens here when we're singing, okay? Remember that one. Uh, one more time, have a nice yawn, keeping it nice and open. And squeeze it down and wiggle your nose a bit. Excellent, so we use all of these muscles when we're singing. We don't even notice it, okay? So, eyebrows, nice. A happy face makes a really good sound. A dead face makes a dead sound, okay? Always doing this on, I promise. Um, all right. So you might have heard people talk about different parts of the voice. We're definitely not going to get technical in this video, but just to help you figure it out, where we usually speak around about here for me is, generally speaking, we call that the chest voice. Your most comfortable area for speaking tends to sit around here. If you pop your hand here on your chest, just make a low sound. Ah, nice. You should feel a bit of vibration here underneath your hand. Try one more time with me. Ah, nice. So if we try it a little bit higher, going lower. Ah, you feel less, um, fewer vibrations at the beginning, but then as you get that lower sound back, back the vibrations come back. Try that. Ah, so do you feel that the voice is coming from a different area. So this is where we start to take up. We take the voice up through the body into the headspace here, all right? This is as technical as we're gonna get. And this is only to explain that this is where our voice sits. When you're singing soprano, it's all about this area in your head. You wanna feel like you've got a persistent halo, a constant halo, yeah? As if sopranos don't feel special enough. <laughs> Um, so you want to feel like all of your energy is around here when we're singing soprano. 
and it's all nice and buzzy and juicy. Just take your fingers, do this. I want you to imagine that you've got a load of sour sweets in your mouth. And just do a sour face again, no one can see you, totally fine. Good. So you wanna feel that energy in those cheeks. This, this is gonna help us get that higher sound, okay? So now can you say, Bree! Nice. If you can't roll your eyes, totally fine, don't worry about it. You can do a Bree! If you want to. Or you can just say, Wee! Try a Wee. Let's all try a Wee together. Wee! Nice. So I'm gonna have a little yawn before I do it as well. What's happening is this yawn is just gonna lift up my soft palate a little bit and help um, give us more space to find those higher notes. Wee! Try with the yawn. Wee! Good. And see a bright face, bright sound. Dead face, dead sound. Wee! There's a difference. So this is where the magic happens, yeah? It's all about the approach. Don't be scared if someone says, you're a soprano, sing a high note. We've all got them. We use these notes in daily life all the time. We've got, ooh, or woo, yeah. All of those sounds, bang on soprano sounds, okay? And you think nothing of it. So it's psychological. <laughs> ah, soprano, ah, hi. We've all got them. We've all got these notes. We just need to relax a little bit. Roll your shoulders down. Good, say sing. Nice, take off the S and say ing. Good, take off the I and say mmm. 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 Try that one. Nice, you'll notice that my mouth's opening a little bit, but I'm not forcing anything open. You want to drop your jaw. <sighs> Just feel nice and relaxed. I'm not pushing anything here. I just want to feel like I've just been the dentist and it's really numb. I can't control it. Mmm. 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 On that NG sound. Mmm. Good. And as I go for a high one, I'm just going to turn. Um, I want you to feel like your voice is going up, round your head and over the top. Rather than where we think it should go is mm, that's not gonna help, that cuts it off, it's restrictive. So you wanna take it around and over the top, take the voice on diversion, like this. Mm, nice and open and taking it around. And that action there, we just that's the one that we want to remember that's the soft palette lifting up that's going to get us that nice magic height to the notes okay so another thing we're going to do to open up this um upper voice this soprano voice is we're going to just use a really familiar little riff and get ourselves going through it got my trusty uh laptop keyboard here lockdown um this is one that everyone knows and we're just going to sing a do Try with me. Good. We're going to change the sound to this time to a Z. And each time that we go, remember those little sour cheeks. Z. I want to see your top teeth and having this halo here, yeah? Z, 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 Z. Give it a go. It's there. Bright face. Have a little yawn in as well before we sing. So I want you to go Z, Z, Z. It's a yawn or it's an excited breath. Ready? One, two, one, two. In we go. Z, 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 Z. This time we're off to the zoo. Good. This time let's uh, do a little bit of a lee. Lee, lee, lee. So we're here. Have that little yawn in. 
Don't be scared of it, okay? Excited breath. Z Lee! Rather. Top teeth. Haribo cheeks. Uh, sour. Sour cheeks. Lee! Just try that for me. Nice. Now with your breath. One, two, one, two. Stick with Lee, and we're now here. So again, with that excited breath, Lee, Lee, Lee. It's all about that openness of that breath. Ready? One, two, one, two. Lee, 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 you could now sing a bit of Mozart with that height, these notes. You could sing, we could sing a bit of darkness, okay? In fact, let's try that. So you can just, I want you to just take it down your nose a little bit more. This gives it a bit more of a ping and a bit more of a, like a long haired lycra rock star sound. So um, just put your fingers there and just say, Nyeh! like a witch. Nyeh! Good. Now make it into a meow. Meow! Meow! Nice. So then we can just put some words to it. I believe in a thing called love. All right, so it's got a little pinch here almost. And it's just pointing the, the, the voice in that particular direction that you want it to be in. So now we can play around with it. Once we've found the notes, this is where the songs come in. And so we apply all of that, all of that thinking, all of this openness to when we're singing songs. So singing soprano is not as scary as it sounds. It's really not. It's just all about being kind to your voice, being kind to your vocal cords, not adding any stress to them. All of the approach is from here or like down here for certain songs, but it's still from above, right? You're never reaching up to it. You're never squeezing for anything because that's when you're going to come out of it with a bit of a sore throat. Okay, so hopefully you feel like, ah, oh, that's nice. There's a note that I haven't sang for a while. Um, so use those exercises. Use something that you're familiar with. Use a little riff. And I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one as well. Something that you're really familiar with, but try and remember that approach that we've just worked on. All right, good luck, enjoy it. Welcome to the world of Sopranos.